Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is going to be a review of something called Gyroscope. Now you guys may have heard of it, it is basically a self-quantification tool that allows you to track the various areas of your life, things like exercise, things like health, things like digital side of stuff, to help give you a more statistical analysis of your daily activities. Now I actually first discovered Gyroscope when I was looking at some new tab extension recommendations and I actually just started playing around with it originally and now I have the iPhone application as well. So what I wanted to do today is overview the freemium version of the application to sort of show you some of the features, limitations, so you can install Gyroscope on your Chrome and also an iPhone at the moment. These are the two touch points you have with the application. So the application splits into some different areas. It splits into Sport, Explorer and Digital. So the various apps that you can get started by adding are exercise apps like Strava, RunKeeper, Fitbit and Jawbone. These are some of the most popular applications, but also wearable technology so that you can track that as you go about your day without having to worry about syncing. In terms of the steps side of stuff, you can also attach the Apple Health Kit, which actually allows you to track some of the steps as well in case you don't have any of those apps or wearables. Now, moving on to health, you can connect that Apple Health Kit so that you can track any of your health movements. You've also got Moves as well, which is a Facebook-owned um, health tracking company and also withings and google fit so jumping over to the digital side of stuff you've got rescue time as your analytics tool for work i really like using rescue time and because i've got a pro account it links up really well with this although this works with the freemium setup too you can track how many hours you've done and the productivity score as well and this actually is really handy when you're looking at this across your day you can also attach sites like Instagram, Twitter, as well as Foursquare and any music to Facebook, but music is only available for Pro feature. There are some other features inside the free version which I'm pretty impressed by. There's a years old feature which indicates and gives you like a timer of how old you are. Now I really like this one because I've been using this app for like a year or so now and I've basically seen this one grow every day and it almost makes me feel more pressure when I'm doing stuff because it sort of, it helps me feel like I'm pressuring my time which is good. You can also connect friends for free as well and I'm slowly connecting to a few more people who have got gyroscope. You can either create a private or a public access. Once you invite your friends they do have access to seeing some of the step statistics and how much work you've done. But that is changeable through a premium feature called Vault. Now moving on to the sort of premium side of stuff, now a lot of this app resides in the pro experience. So if you're using a free, I recommend trying it out first using that section. I'm really liking it so far and I am considering looking at the pro. Now in terms of pro features, you've got a better section of layouts. You've got things like steps, body weight and location as well, which is a better improvement to the application. You've also got native features in Pro like AI sleep tracking, which actually tracks the quality of your sleep. Um, now, if you've got the Fitbit attached to the freemium version, this does work. So you can actually see all of your um, sleep through that. But if you don't and want a like a really good uh, or like mid-range sleep tracking, then this could be your solution. In Pro, you've also got goal tracking, which actually allows you to set goals very similar to something like Strides app, like a habit tracking app but it helps you achieve these um, using the obviously app integrations already. And you've also got a really cool feature called DNA tracking, which actually links to, I think it's 23andMe. It's a DNA tracking service, which actually brings together all of your DNA sections. Um, so this is really trying to be the future of trying to self-quantify your body, your mind, and your work. You've also got the ability to custom domain as well. And the prices start from $7 per month and range up to obviously getting the year package, which is $70 per year. Now, one thing I'd have to note is the iOS application is quite messy. I'm not talking about messy in terms of the development. It's a well-built application, but I found that there were a lot of things happening. So I was trying to find out different sections and different information. Now, I'm sure they'll improve this over time, but it's just something to note.
You've also got access to reports inside of the Pro feature as well, so you can actually go delve deeper into all of the statistics you're working with. The onboarding experience to the actual iOS application is pretty easy, so it's a great way to get started. Anyway guys, I'm really looking forward to keeping track of what this application does in the next year, because self-quantification is obviously a very important sector, and I think this application is well geared for the future. So in the description, I'll include the links to the free version to give you a go and also the pro version and also some information on their website. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my opinion on this one. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on self-quantification apps and whether you're using any to organize your day. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. And if you enjoy my videos, I put out regular videos, uh, do subscribe. And I'm looking forward to sharing a few more videos on different iOS applications and different Android applications too. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.